Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today I will be watching Attack on Titan Season 4 episode number 16. What an incredible journey this is guys. Attack on Titan is amazing, it feels very good to say that after this episode I will be caught up with anime and will be waiting for new episodes with you guys in January, that is going to be insane, can't wait looking back at season 1, 2 and 3, I'm really glad that I started recording these reactions. From my point of view, uh, my experience of Attack on Titan is much better thanks to you guys. I said that countless times and I will keep on repeating and thanking you guys for everything. Thank you for your support, your kind words, your likes, comments, subscribes, for everything. I want to thank my boy Khalid, he is a moderator on the channel, he is keeping uh, spoilers away from my videos and I want to thank Zero as well for sending me Blu-ray episodes. I'm really grateful to have all of you on my channel. Someone mentioned a long time ago when I started recording, be prepared for this journey, it will change your life and certainly to some degree Attack on Titan can have a very positive influence because it makes you more observant, more understanding of other people. And the show is showing us how absurd war and racism can be. But that is the part of our history and our world and that's why this story is so good. I can't wait to see how will this amazing story conclude. I want to thank Isayama as well for delivering such amazing story and props uh, of course to Wit Studio, to MAPPA, to animators, to voice actors, to composers, to everyone, to all Attack on Titan stuff. I am very grateful. After this episode, I plan to continue uploading JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and One Piece reactions. But when it comes to One Piece, it's a very tricky situation. I'm really scared to post these reactions because Toei is striking channels left and right. I don't know how many of you are heard about the channel Totally Not Mark and what he is going through right now. It's it's crazy. If you didn't go check it out, Toei took out his 150 videos. It's absurd. And some of those videos were just the drawings, not even the content from Toei. I'm kind of scared to upload anything One Piece related. I will try to post uh, One Piece videos and put a redirect link for another site where is my reactions and I will just uh, keep the discussion part on the YouTube so we will see how it goes. But yeah, I will probably start a new show and before that I will uh, react to Attack on Titan Junior High. A few viewers mentioned that it's a very uh, wholesome series where nobody dies and it's kind of like a therapy session before the final part so we can relax and have a laugh and i will probably do some videos that i'm not a huge fan of but i will do it for the sake of your guys because uh it's about ranking i absolutely hate ranking things because there is just so many uh, things that i like i mean characters and episodes but i will give you guys my uh top 5 or top 10 episodes and I will probably do a character tier list. So yeah, back to the anime, a previous episode was one of the best from this season, that's for sure. Misayama managed to completely change our opinion when it comes to Zeke. Well, I saw some people saying that Zeke still did kill these people with no remorse and whatnot, but after Zeke's backstory, it's completely it's completely understandable why he wants to do to do this utilization plan. It was very heartbreaking. I like Mr. Xaver as well. His backstory is insane. That that, that caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it to be so dark, which is kinda ironic because this is a Dark Titan. There is a lot of tragic and depressing stories. But yeah, to sum it up. Uh, Zeke didn't have a normal childhood, his uh, royal blood, the uh, Dinah and Grisha put huge hopes in him, but instead of uh, 
finding a balance between childhood and his training, they completely occupied him with, with the history of the world and uh, Marley's training to become a warrior candidate and he was completely stripped off of his childhood and it was so tough to watch, especially because Zeke was so smart and he was warning his parents that they are doing dangerous things and we saw his conversation with Terran, he started crying because he thought he found someone that he can fully trust and that is essentially the uh, same as him because he thought that Grisha did the same thing to Eren as to him but we all know that's not the case and uh, of course I think that Eren is not rocking with Zeke's plan so I'm really excited to see what is Eren up to and how is this part going to end so without further ado, let's jump right into episode number 16 of season 4. Let's go guys. Okay guys, let's start final episode of season 4 part 1. Let's do this. Oh, did they hear the explosion? Yeah, Hanji knows. Look at what. Oh, they're going in that way. <laughs> Holy shit, just like Zachary. Whoa. Is Zeke really dying? Who's that girl? She hit the blonde here. Is that a titan coming? What the hell? If the titan is Zeke, bro. What the fuck is going on? Wait, what the hell, guys? Is that titan consuming Zeke, but not to the mouth? It opened its guts and put Zeke in it. What the hell? But we saw that girl. Is that girl supposed to be Ymir? What on earth is going on? But those titans are controlled by Zeke, right? They're in his command. Will that titan flash or that titan help Zeke regenerate or something? Hmm. Holy shit, we are starting like this. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, oh. look at Yelena. Yep. She did say that. Yeah. 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 Holy shit. That sucks. Yo, this sucks. But they have different white, black, and red. The white are for Yegerist. Okay, okay, and the black ones are for the people. Drink the wine without knowing a thing. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Think Yelena, man. Oh, that's the same thing as Zachary. Oh, bro. ジークとエレンは接触し、今には照らしできぬと思い知らせることが計画のはず。救われるのはこの島だけではないのだ。ジークは世界を救う神でありますので、ガード、ヒアウィゴアゲン。ことでしょう。ことの成り行きを見てる
超大型巨人はそんな器用なことはできないエレンのようにはうんレタンだそろそろ話してもいいだろうミカサを言葉で傷つけたから僕から手を出して殴り返されたやっぱ、That's exactly、what ミカサを傷つけたってどんなふうにそれはやめてジャンフォンビヘピアバウダーいやミノダジャンライクスミカサどう傷つそやろうになっちまったってことだ<笑>一番大事だったはずの二人を意味もなく傷つけちまうほどもう我を失っちまったいやばやつが勝負してるの何の意味もなくそんなことをするとは思えない。Oh my god, John! そこにやつの真意があるんじゃない。Oh my god, John knows! John fucking knows! お久しぶりです。志願者の英雄の皆さん。Oh, Yelena! このような場所で。出せよ<笑>俺を軟禁して散々連れ回しといて、それは虫が良すぎるんじゃないのか。Damn, bro! ジークとエレンが接触を果たすまで。Quiet and be here. おとなしくしてろ。お前。よかったな、イエレナ。うまくことが運んで気分が。エルジア国民の支持を得て、脊髄液入りのワインで兵団を支配しまったからな。これでお前たちはエルジア国と始祖の力を手に入れ、周りを滅ぼして祖国の復讐を果たす。これが、国連のこの未開の島を。お前らが快適に暮らすためにだろう。島の統治者となるお前らが。騙されたやつが負けた。たったそれだけのことだ。Oh, the guy with the wine? Yeah, Chris. 俺たちを撃ってイエレナの下僕に昇格したみてえだな。このチクリ野郎。ダンブロー。カツエノイモクセオンナントニハナノシタノバシアガテ。What the fuck are you saying, you fucking bitch? おれに毎晩あの女のこと聞かせやがって。Bro, this guy! あいたら死んで正気に戻るかと思った俺がバカだった。Please, someone punch him! わかるように言ってやるよ。あのバイタは手を打った。ええわ。彼の比例をお詫びありません。そして信じてください。我々の真の目的は。マーレーの復讐などという空虚なものではありません。Oh、my God, 世界から憎しみの連鎖を断ち切り、エルディアとマーレーの復讐などを断ち切り、包み隠さず、すべてをお話しします。Ooh. 世界を救うジークの秘策、安楽死計画を進めます。Oh, She's still calling them devils. <笑> Yo, サシャを殺したガキ。ファルクを助けたかった。ロック。お、oh、my god。何を。無線で助けを呼んでもらう。壁内の侵入者が反応を示す。おお、プロ。What the fuck。ガビも静かに。お、お、お、my god、they are here。ピクサ。静かに。君がエレンイエラーで会ってる。よね。What the hell? Pick is so smooth, bro. She just casually walked in, stabbed that guy right in the throat, and has Eren on a gunpoint. Holy fucking shit, this episode. This is insane. This is insane, guys. What do we have here? Shiganshina District. The fortified residential district of Paradise Island, where the operation to retake the founding titan began in. Year、uh, 845, in the five years following the fall of Volmaria, it was inhabited by Titans. However, with the operation's failure, the hall was plugged by Eren Jaeger, and the current state of the district is unknown. The primary goal of the new strategy is for the Car Titan and Jav Titan to infiltrate Shiganshina, the southernmost district. Eren doesn't seem phased at all. Be scared as fuck, bro. Eden, pocket to cara teo dust. Stag on a kereba donor. Anatan no miso by Yukani Chirabar. And you lose the founding titan. Kyojin in a himana. Nah, Eren is smarter than that. Mada Utanaka. Ima Hikigane of Hikanaina, Nanishini Coconicita. Teo pocket to Nileta Mamata to Tonta Utanai. Holy shit, my cousin of Kuroskoto, a Kyoka Saratenai. Exactly. <laughs> What the fuck? 
<笑>ガビ、引き金から指を外して。クイック。重大な軍機違反の付けを払うのは。はい、打てません。あなたを食べることも本当無理あると思うし、どうもね。クイックさん。私が侵入してきた時の巨人の足跡が見つかっちゃ
is here. Porco is here. Porco is here. What are they planning to do? Oh, they found out about Falcon. Poor boy. Yes, it is your fault. なるほど。ジークな能力があるのか知ってる。さあな。あんたは知ってるのか。いいえ。誰も知らなかった。ジークに。バテレノス。世に見えていたけど。Exactly how I felt about Zeke. Yo, I like it so much, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is amazing. Look at this scene, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, Yelena led them to the trap in Marley. He knows that, he knows that. It's mutual. Well, she's asking for Z. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Z, to be honest. Oh, bro. Oh. oh my god, she pointed at Eren. Oh my god, the music! <sighs> it's Porco! Wait! That was so close! Oh, here we go! It's begun. キョジンたちが動き出した。あ、でも、彼に使えても私たちに未来はないって。見て。あ、they're Bro, Eren looks so good. Koya. Oh, are we gonna end like this? What the fuck? This ending is so good. Amazing show, guys. That's it guys, that was episode number 16 of season 4 part 1, Attack on Titan. No more Attack on Titan until January and I already want to cry because I have to wait for a month and I can't even imagine how you guys felt waiting for all this season, especially you guys who started watching this all the way from season 1. Phenomenal episode, but the fact that they ended it with Marley and Warriors starting their attack is <laughs> insane, bro. We already know that the first episode of the final part will be crazy, bro. <laughs> Why did they have to do this? Oof. So the episode begins with Anji, Flock and others hearing the explosion that Zeke triggered from the Thunder Spear and they didn't show us a Levi. Why? I don't know. They showed us Zeke. I mean, part of Zeke. The upper body part, which makes perfect sense because the freaking spear was piercing his stomach. It's a miracle that he's alive. And he was asking, am I dying in that scene with the rain, bro? That was done so well. And it's Zeke 
Zeke's vision, right? He sees the girl, the blonde girl. And who else could it be but Ymir? Imagine if it's Ymir because he's of royal blood. He saw, he saw her through the memories, through the pets. And what's the deal with that titan? At first, I was like, what the fuck does this titan want to eat Zeke? If this random soldier is Zeke, he will inherit the beast titan. But then I remembered, oh wait a minute, those are actually Zeke's titan. They probably want to help Zeke. So I think what is going on here is that that titan is trying to help him regenerate. It's probably something new that we didn't see before. And thanks to royal blood, or thanks to royal blood, Zeke is able to use it. I freaking knew it, bro. I knew it that there is no way that Zeke and Levi would be gone just like that. But I'm definitely more scared for Levi than for Zeke. Especially after that scene. They didn't show us Levi at all. And later on we see Yelena uh, mentioning the line that soon enough we will dine at the same table again. <laughs> and that actually happened, but not as Pixies had in mind right it's not quite the same as he was thinking they are now uh, wearing these armbands the yellow uh, i mean sorry white black and red one white one for jaegerists uh black one for the people who drank the wine and didn't know what's in the wine and red and red ones who are for those who drank the wine but choose to comply right and we saw our squad uh, in in a prison cell. We saw Mr. Browse serving the tea to uh, scouts and Mikasa, Armin, Connie and Jean were talking about. Aaron Connie was saying how we already know that he's a piece of shit. Don't let anything surprise you. It's understandable for from Connie's point of view, but we obviously know that's not the case. And it's still quite sad for me to see Armin and Mikas in this situation. But my boy Jean, he, it, this episode reminded me why I like Jean so much. He, it reminded me of uh, season one Jean. And Jean was always the one, uh, Jean was always the pragmatic one. He's always asking the right questions. And, and it's logical for Jean to say, wait a minute. We know Aaron. Aaron wouldn't do such things without a reason. There must be something behind all of this. And I was so glad when I saw that. And uh, in another situation uh, later on, when they learned about utilization plan, Zeke's plan, he was saying, like, who can guarantee? Who can guarantee that Marley will leave us alone? What if, for example, for 30 years or something when we don't have any more young soldiers and they decide to attack and just uh, kill us all without any mercy and take our resources, which would most likely happen, not gonna lie. And Yelena turned on her Yandere mode, of course, and she was saying how the, brother will, the brothers will become legends, they will change the world, and she was mentioning also Historia and her baby that they will have a carrier for the founding titan the last carrier of the founding titan perhaps but that's also the thing uh, yeah uh, thanks to the powers of founding titan anatomy of subjects of ymir can be changed but what if that's impossible what if eldian's bodies are made in the way that they must reproduce no matter what so we actually don't know if Zeke's plan could even work, but I guess we will see what happens. And that guy Grizz, man, oh my god. From that gross dude who killed uh, Faye, up until this point I haven't seen a character that I despised so much, bro. The way he was talking about Sasha, bro, that had me <laughs> legit heated and I was glad when... Yelena stepped in, but I wasn't expecting for her from her to blast his head, bro. But that also goes to show that Yelena's intentions are colliding with Zeke, right? Because they don't care about taking the revenge 
on Marley. They just want to uh, put Zeke's plan to work. They just want uh, to make Eldians unable to bear children and reproduce and that they would gradually peacefully go extinct, which is very cruel. When it comes to morality in Attack on Titan, it would make sense for uh, literally the whole world and for the most of people to think that if we get rid of Eldians, it's going to be fine. We don't have to fear anything, but imagine if you're an Eldian, how would you feel about that? There is no more morally right choice here. I mean, you're basically killing off Eldians and they didn't want any of this shit. They wanted to live peacefully. But that's the thing, right? Imagine if they lived inside of the walls and what if Marley did not send the Titans at all to Paradise? The people from the walls would still venture out, right? Seeking the freedom and uh, knowledge about the world and they would eventually discover that there is more people than just them inside of the vaults. So I think that no matter how you look at it, the rest of the world and Marley would sooner or later attack Paradise just for their resources only, right? Since we saw that girl, bro, there, there is something inside of me that I really kinda uh, I'm having these ideas in my head that whoa, if, what if Zeke can connect to Ymir to see her story? Are we going to get uh, Ymir's story? Uh, how she awakened those powers? What actually happened? Can we find out something that can... Uh, that can break the curse and release us from the titans. I'm hoping for something like that, bro. I hope that we, in the end, uh, everybody gets to live and that we, uh, that Aaron and the others become friends with warriors. And I, I mean, judging by this show, it's so hard that we will get such a happy ending, right? It wouldn't be real. But I, I can hope, right? I can hope that at least something good is going to happen and that we don't have to kill each other. But yeah, as I said before, it's all Marley's government fault at the end of the, at, at the, end of the day. They're the ones who made Eren who he is today. And they're the ones who are treating Eldians in Marley like shit, like Nazi did back in the day with the Jewish people. And Peak also mentioned something and it was actually a good point when the titans are no longer needed they would just probably kill all of the eldians in marley because technology is advancing and there are many new weapons titans won't be relevant soon so she has a good point and uh, speaking of peak bro her infiltration was so smooth she went in stabbed that soldier instantly killed him pointed God at Eren, and Eren was a gangster man, hands in the pocket, he didn't flinch it. And what Pick was saying about how she wants to free Eldians and her family, I think that she was saying truth, right? But uh, at the same time, it went pretty well with what she's trying to do. She's trying to gain Eren's trust, which we know, obviously, that it's not happening, and Eren is way smarter now. Than ever, the fact that he wanted to ask Gabi for help or Gabi to uh, talk to the Marley soldiers, and I'm 100% sure that Gabi would not do it, bro. She would not listen to to Aaron. No freaking way. And what Peak was saying to Gabi, who after this, no, no way. In the uh, final part, Gabi will no longer call them devils. I mean, what what else can happen for Gabi to try and understand? The peak, the, the girl she looked up to, she liked so much saying those things. And she's right. No matter what you do, people will still look at you as a subject of Ymir. You are a human being that can transform into a monster by injecting the serum. 
you are an Eldian. No, nothing can change that. And I think this is the, the point where Gabi will finally start realizing uh, all these different events led to that. Meeting with Kaya, uh, seeing Niccolo and Mr. Bros and Bros family, and now with Peek and seeing uh, Mikasa and Armin helping her. So I am almost positive that in final part we will get a totally different Gabi. And later on, when Yelena was explaining Zeke's plan, we saw Armin suddenly starting to cry. That was very confusing, but when you think about it, Armin is the character I absolutely love from season 1, uh, and his development throughout the seasons was amazing. Season 1, season 2, season 3, and in season 4 we didn't see much of Armin like we used to, right? But right now, uh, Armin's crying is something that I uh, find hard to believe. I don't feel like that was a genuine reaction to what Elena was saying. It more so felt like he was trying to get inside of her head. Uh, Armin is trying to gain her trust. We know how smart Armin is and what he did in the past. We know how he uh, emotionally uh, how he emotionally played with Bertolt and he's the one who uh, found out that Annie is a, a person who can transform into a titan and uh, he figured out for Reiner and Bertolt also we know that Armin is a smart dude and I think that what he's trying to do is to make Yelena release them right so i think that it's armin big brain move to try and manipulate yelena and i think it will work you saw how uh connie and Jani and the others looked at armin all confused <laughs> but that's the thing we went through a lot of shitty situations with the titans before and we managed to pull pull uh miracles thanks to armin and we didn't see much of that in this season of course well, we saw that Armin actually came up with the plan for the escape route, right? In in uh, uh, Marley, when Angie said that, are you possessed with, uh, are you possessed by Irving or something? <laughs> Never underestimate Armin. What we also know is that Armin knows Eren for a long time, and maybe when he heard the plan, he felt relief because maybe that was enough for Armin to confirm what Jean was asking, that Eren has some other motives as well. And maybe that's the moment when Armin realized that what Eren did to them was for another reason. I really hope that's the case. Bro, Pik and Porco are here. We saw Porco uh, with those soldiers. He was in the middle looking at Peek and Peek was saying hi. <laughs> she was basically uh, telling Porco uh, what is going on, right? And that they are going up and uh, Peek was talking with Eren about Zeke and does he know uh, why he can use these special powers the way he is using and Eren was like, no, do you know? <laughs> but Eren obviously knows that Zeke is royal blood which Pick doesn't know, and <laughs> when Eren is asking where is the enemy and uh, Pick points at him, bro, that scene was so good and uh, we saw the lightning kinda showed up for a second, implying that Eren is ready to transform and the music kicks in from the episode 1 of season 4 and uh, we saw uh, Porco in his titan form trying to eat Eren but he got his legs only and Eren managed to transform so it's on I guess so Eren is ready it's going to be insane and Pick was saying I don't but I don't trust Marley but I trust my comrades who are fighting alongside me for a long time and we saw the these five blimps coming in and <laughs> Reiner, bro, and Eren saying, bring it on, Reiner, man, what a way to end the part, bro, that was crazy, 
this is going to be like what round three or four Zeke plan is really interesting but i don't i know that Aaron won't follow that plan so i'm really interested to see what Aaron has in store for us the final part is without a dub going to be insanely good i am so hyped i can't wait to watch it with you guys together now when it comes to the final part <laughs> my expectation i expect to see Gabi changing in final part i believe that Gabi will finally realize that they're all eldians there is no good and bad eldians and uh, i think that falco will play a major role in last part not only that we have a whole ending dedicated to falco we also must not forget about episode one of season four when falco was having a vision or a memory perhaps of him flying around with the 3d gear slashing titans which is clearly implying to me that falco will inherit the armored titan in final part that is going to be very sad for me when that happens but at some point uh, at some point zeke will come back i think that zeke is regenerating right now and uh, when the fighting begins zeke will show up and at some point zeke will trigger the transformations 100 percent for all the people who drank who drank wine and reiner will probably willingly give his life for falco to inherit the armor titan that's something that i'm almost sure that it's going to happen and zeke is going to join the battle for sure and he will take uh, Aaron's side what I really want from final part is to show us if possible the real history uh, the real beginning of all this the real beginning the real source of the titan powers I really hope that show goes in that direction to show us it would be I mean it would be weird if we didn't get to learn about that right now when i see Eren and his actions bro it kind of scares me uh, that he doesn't pull off something something along the lines of sacrificing himself to end all of this that would be quite sad right especially for mikasa and and armin i talked about it at one point how if he gains all the titan powers and crystallizes himself wouldn't that uh, be a solution if he does not age in the crystal but that's the thing maybe curse of ymir doesn't give a shit if you age or not when the 13 years are passed you are done so it's basically isayama covered everything bro there is actually there isn't actually a thing they could do that we know that would resolve this problem there is the zeke's plan which was freaking amazing new plan to think about and it is cruel indeed if we look at the body count with the war will be much much higher than with the zeke's plan but zeke's plans zeke's plan is also cruel as well because all the eldians didn't have a chain, chance to make a choice they would all be stripped of the ability to reproduce and it's killing a nation you're killing the people who are living here on this very planet for a long long time and uh, it does not guarantee that marley and the others won't attack paradise in fact i think that at that moment that they are no longer able to transform into a titans they would get struck would it be nice to have a peace talk with armin and someone on the marley and the to, to have kind of like all these uh, leaders of all the nations come together and talk would that be great yes will that happen no 
there is no way that something like that happened. It's too late for that, in my opinion, and it all goes down to Irving's words. Uh, humanity will only stop fighting each other when there is one human or less. Like, peace is something really great, but in reality, it's impossible to grasp. The, this show is so good that no matter from what angle or perspective you look at it, it's so hard, bro. It's so hard to find a solution, man. What if Eren, uh, what if Eren is able to come to come in contact with the source of all uh, life forms, just like he, it was explained by all that Ymir touched the source of all life? What if Eren, uh, thanks to Zeke, to his royal blood, what he, if Eren is able to connect to that? Think whatever the heck that is to that devil or whatever and he makes a new pact like he gives uh, like he gives his own life in order to uh, remove the titan powers from existence i think that would be quite fitting end for this story no matter what happens we will be here for it and we will enjoy it i want to thank Again, all of you guys who are watching my videos, I hope you enjoyed my reactions. Now we are waiting for January for final part of this amazing story, to see how it ends, to laugh together with you guys, to cry together with you guys. I really like uh, all the different perspectives you guys give and the new meanings to some scenes and uh, explanations really grateful i will do more shows here on the channel of course this journey was incredible i have some openings and endings reactions that i recorded i will probably release them soon and continue with judge's bizarre adventure and one piece i will start reacting to new show and attack on titan junior high there will be more content of course i have also some attack on titan related videos in mind and I have to check some videos that you guys sent me. Uh, there is a live action trailer that I need to check. And there is some uh, fan made videos uh, from one of my viewers, Kaiten10. There is a video of his I need to check as well. And I will probably react my reactions to it. So yeah, they will be, there will be more stuff on the channel. Thank you guys very much from the bottom of my heart. You made this journey incredibly enjoyable. That's all for today's video, guys. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya, guys.